Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here. If you couldn't tell already, I've got the Storm Tiga right here in front of me. That's right, you can access the Storm Tiga. I will link in the description below. Uh, also possibly a pinned comment if I remember, but pretty much, basically, you can access this vehicle. All you have to do is make sure that in your web browser, you are logged into the War Thunder Wiki, and then you click on the link that I give you in the description below, and then once you click on that, then and you open up War Thunder and boom, this should be right in your uh, hangar. So that said, here it is, the Storm Tiga. Finally, right? We have an absolute beast of a tank here. This thing has up to a 65 degree vertical guidance, as you could imagine, based on this. I mean, it's just how the Germans could manage to, to justify the building of this vehicle. And that was actually one of the things that, that sank their war effort, uh, just historically speaking, was that they built so many different variants of of so many different vehicles when they couldn't build them you know like they they specialize certain things and in order to build the storm tiga they had to decide to create machining and and tools and all that just for this whereas the american said okay the m4a2 let's build 15,000 of those and that's what happened you know and so you have so many different things like the panzer 2 alf a alf c bd all these different things and the storm tiga and all that and the Americans, of course, they had some variants, but it was basically just build this and very few of the other logistical or support vehicles. But that said, here we are. We have the Storm Tiga. It's got 150 millimeters of armor right here in the front. Currently BR 6.3. We'll see if that sticks once it actually uh, gets released to the general public. But this is a rank for event or a rather premium vehicle, which is very, very nice. It's got Pretty nice and thick armor here. So this is based on the Tiger E, which is the upgraded Tiger. So that's very nice, much better than the Tiger H. So I believe the Tiger E does have some enhanced horsepower, which is nice because this thing weighs 65 tons. And at maximum, it should be receiving about 700 horsepower, if I'm not mistaken, which, you know, would create just over a 10 to 1 power to weight ratio, which is not at all good, but at least it's better than sub 10 to 1. So it has very little armor on top on the engine deck this is pretty standard for a tiger but of course again it has that nice frontal hull armor so that said it does also have an mg here with 3,000 rounds of ammunition and it has a ridiculous just like look at this look at this and like i'm wondering how this is going to interact especially with the fact that there is a cannon shell oh like if you have a cannon shell loaded it's in the gun barrel so what will happen if this gets shot genuinely i wonder what will happen will this create some sort of uh, a problem with the storm tiga so you know what actually i'm just going to take let's just say the elephant fire that right down the barrel i mean and it looks like actually if you look at this like this is actually modeled in this hole is modeled in here it's not like they just decided to give this 40 something millimeter or you know however many millimeters of armor thickness look at that so actually i was getting a lot of questions about this uh in my one of my most recent videos like Hey, what would happen if you shoot the barrel? Well, it looks like it'll go right through and it will blow up the ammunition and ignite the ammunition inside. So that is a massive weak spot. More so, like, that's, that's huge. Like, whoa. Anyways, let's see how this thing, fly, uh, you know, actually works in test drive. Again, we don't have access to this quite yet in, uh, in regular game modes, but I want to see how this is in test drive and, uh, you know, see how big of a boom this this uh, can actually bring because it is a rocket propelled 38 centimeter uh, howitzer, basically, or mortar, or whatever it is. And it has 345 kilograms of weight with 135 kilograms of explosive mass. So this is pretty much a really powerful 250 kilogram bomb, essentially worth of explosive filler. So let's get into it, see what we could do and uh, Man, I am so stoked for this come to War Thunder. So as you can see here, MG right there. Pretty stiff, pretty simple. Um, you know, I mean, you really can't say anything about the MG. I mean, it's going to be useful in some regards. Um, now, this has literally zero elevate or zero depression. So you have to be angled. This is possibly the worst gun depression in game because it has not. Uh, literally, the SAT card, if I'm not mistaken, shows zero gun depression but that's not what it was meant for it was not meant to fire anywhere near you rather it was meant to fire uh, possibly kilometers away from you 
uh, which is part of the reason why it had its, um, you know, rocket-propelled artillery. Now, as you can see, I mean, it's got a very small turret traverse, which is nice at least that you have neutral steering, but does that really, is that going to matter to most people? Eh, I'm not sure. So look at this. This is the, as you can see, the aiming. Let's just aim up a little bit here. Holy moly! <laughs> this, this has a... <laughs> just to see it put that thing up so close. So this has a 40 second reload with a fully aced crew. I believe, I, I didn't see what it would be like without fully aced, but I would imagine somewhere around 50 to 60 seconds. So unless... Whoa! Whoa, Nelly, look at that! <laughs> it cratered that thing! Wow! So I'm going to go fire on this T-34 on the move. Then I'm going to go to the KV-2 and try to fire literally right next to it. Uh, while I'm right next to it, see if it kills me. Because I, I believe that's something I'm sure most of you will be interested in. So let's see if I can... What I can do here. Oh, man! Like, look at that! I, I, whoa, look at the, the hull of that thing! That's phenomenal. I love this thing already. Um, also, so I'm going to fire it right next to the KV-2. Then, I'm, Well, actually, I can't fire straight down. But I'll go up on this hill, potentially, and just fire at the ground. Uh, and see what we could do. Because I want to see if shooting a little bit above the ground and hitting these tanks is creating less of a hole in the ground. Or if I can get a bigger hole in the ground by shooting directly at it. So once we get past or to this KV-2... See if I survive the basically direct hit, because, I mean, I'm sure some people are going to be wondering, hey, what if some guy comes up right next to me and I shoot him? Am I going to die? Because, I mean, this fires essentially a 250 kilogram bomb, right? I mean, of course, the, the again, the shells are heavier than 250 kilograms, but it's got about the same uh, explosive filler, which is pretty crazy. So let's see. I'm still alive. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm just going to go on this hill now. Uh, try to aim at the ground. See if it creates a hole that's a little bit bigger than that. I'm sure it won't. But who knows? You never know. And, uh, yeah. So it doesn't have any special loading mechanics. Um, so if you guys didn't know, that little crane there, that was actually devised to bring in ammunition into the hole of the vehicle. But, uh, of course, that doesn't work, at least not currently in War Thunder. Maybe it will in the future, but this is actually a pretty spry vehicle, um, all things considered. So, not too bad, but I'm going to shoot right there at the ground once this actually gets uh, reloaded in about 10 seconds. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Nelly! So, it doesn't appear to have created a... Well, maybe it has. Is that a larger hole? Okay. Whoa, look how much dirt this has made. That kind of looks like a larger hole in the ground, actually. Tell me if I'm wrong. But it kind of does. So I'm just going to do two more tests here. I want to see how far I can aim this up. So I'm going to see if, like, how far this will actually shoot. And then I'm going to shoot next to that T-44. Uh, because there was a story that back in the day... Uh, there was a Storm Tiga that had... Whoa, look at this elevation angle. That had um, apparently shot into the middle of a group of about, I think, five or so Shermans and destroyed them all. So it it's still going up. So it would be remarkable. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, man, Germany. Holy cow. Let's... <laughs> I can't believe this. Did it just... <laughs> Did it just disappear? I think it just disappeared. Man, imagine if you could add this with uh, some... Some, uh... Artillery that, like, you know, um... Radar, like, some fuses, pretty much like what they have in AA. Imagine that. That would be absurd. So anyways, I'm gonna go right next to this uh, T-44... 
and uh, or at least launch this near to the T-44, probably somewhere in the road there. See if it destroys the T-44 because give or take, that's about as much uh, explosive filler as would normally do it with a bomb. So I'll see if this is any similar. I'm sure it's about the same with the with the Stromtiga. Let's see if we could do that. If uh, hopefully I can get a depression angle on this. Oh yes, yes I can. So you think this is reasonable? Okay, three, two. No, it did not destroy him. In fact, actually, it did very little damage. So I guess I'll do one more shot, like right there. I'll just kind of skip forward in the video for the reload, but try it one more time. Oh, and also, we got smoke grenades, so pretty damn cool. Okay, here we go. Nothing. Wow. Okay. So I guess, I mean, just based on what I'm seeing here, I get... You know that this is not a direct hit, but I would have imagined that this would have at least destroyed the track with that much explosive filler. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am stoked for this thing. I'm really interested to, to see how that gun barrel mechanic is actually going to work into War Thunder. Because if you can just shoot right through it, kind of like what was suggested in the armor protection analysis, who knows? You know, I mean, this might not be all that challenging of a vehicle when you have a direct shot into the ammo rack and it's literally into a piece of ammunition that's just permanently stored right there on the barrel so who knows but either way thanks so much everyone again i appreciate it please like comment subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments below but either way see you all on the other side that didn't even kill him really take care everyone